Good morning. I'm losing my voice again. And this morning I woke up with a cold sore, a freaking cold sore on my lip. And I haven't gotten them in so long. When I was in high school, I used to get them all the time. Actually, I have a pretty funny story. My first day of high school, I was going to a new school. I didn't know anybody. And of course, I got a cold sore like two nights before. So I showed up to my first day of high school with this really ugly cold sore on my lip. And like the first week of high school is an important week so that you can, especially at a new school, so you can make friends, figure out who your friend group is. Well, because I had the freaking cold sore, I was extra shy. I didn't even try to talk to people. So my freshman year, I hung out. I'm at my mom's place. So my freshman year, I hung out with mostly my cousin and her friends because of course, she made friends during that first week of high school and then eventually I got into the groove of things and I eventually found my best friend and then I found a friend group and so all was fine but cold sores man they really have ruined my life and of course today I'm going to my niece's quinceanera a quinceanera is a coming of age it's big in the Mexican culture um it's like a coming of age for young women into adulthood, right, Mom? Yes. And so I'm bringing you along on this little quinceanera fun party. My room is a huge mess because I kind of just use this room at my mom's place for like a home base. And so when I do come here, I literally make it a mess. I feel bad because... My mom gets like super stressed every time I'm here because she just looks at the mess in the room. As I was saying, a quinceanera is like an um, initiation going from a young woman to an adult at 15. I mean, it's still crazy because like you can't do shit at 15, but it's just this cultural thing where we have this significant party for the quinceanera and this now young woman and it's a really fun time. I had my quinceanera. Now in modern times, a lot, especially here in the US, um, a lot of people have their sweet 16s or they just prefer a car over their 15th birthday or they prefer to travel over their quinceanera. But for me, I was given the option, but I chose the quinceanera because it truly is a day where you just feel like a princess and it truly is just your day. And like at weddings, it's like, it's the bride's day, but it's also the groom's day. But at a quinceanera, it's exclusively your day. So you really just feel like a princess for one day and it's amazing. But everything that comes with it is also incredible. Like the party, the food, before the party and before the food, before everything happens, there's a mass that's held for this now young woman to give thanks. It's like a Thanksgiving mass. And so we all go to mass and we're there for her to get thanks and blah 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 and then we go to this incredible like these are incredible parties usually a quinceanera when they're gonna have a party their parents will go around and ask for what is called like madrinas and padrinos and they'll basically ask like if anyone wants to get, pitch in money for something whether it's for the dress whether it's for the food whether it's for the ramo anything and so that's how these are sustained these parties because they can be so expensive and uh, i don't know if my mom would have been able to do it if she didn't have those like help from the family and friends because it's really expensive and you have these extravagant dresses and it's really fun and so i'm going to bring you along on a little mexican adventure today i have been in europe for the past three months and i've been experiencing and loving the Italian culture, but I do have Mexican roots and so today I'm going to be showing you my culture, a little glimpse into my Mexican culture and yeah, today is going to be a Mexican day. There's definitely going to be alcohol at this party, but I'm bringing my own champagne because most of the time at quinceaneras it tends to be like beer or cocktails while well, I'm bringing my Prosecco, so. And it's this huge bottle from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna start getting ready. This, this is the before. And I'm gonna go get ready now. Freaking cold sore. 
I don't know if I should put lipstick on today, honestly. Maybe I should just do a smoky eye and just lip gloss. <laughs> Where to blow up? Are you gonna go to the party too? Hey, Papa. Look at that suit. What a fine young man. Young man? <laughs> Get it? I paused my makeup to take pictures of my nephew. Okay, let's go do our makeup now. This is a mess. But it looks like I'm going to some sort of Hollywood themed party. The dress. Okay, I'm gonna take better shots later. But now we're gonna go to Misa. We're gonna head out to the church because it's around an hour away, so we're gonna go now. Who's that beautiful woman driving? Your mother. <laughs> Oh my god. Nice makeup, Mom. Who did your makeup? You did. <laughs> hey, handsome man. He's our little security guard today. Ah. I don't think you can see the cold sore so much. At least it's not one of those like really ugly red ones. Oh. <sighs> Which is what I had the first day of high school, Ma. Do you remember? I, yes, I, remember. I, I don't think that the first week of high school is very crucial for making friends when you first start high school, especially a high school you've never been to or a school that like you don't know anyone. And I didn't communicate or socialize with anybody because I had that big cold sore on my lip because I was embarrassed that people would call me like herpes or something. And they did. <laughs> and that person who called me um, herpes face or something ended up being my first boyfriend actually. Wait ma, pop quiz. Do you know why there's Misa, Mass, before the, um, the actual party? The Mass is to thank God. Yeah. Uh, because, well, it's such a Mexican tradition that... No, but thank God, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a, thank God. It's, it's a Thanksgiving, like I read thank, online. Yes, yes, but it's a thank God that you are already 15. You are uh practically us mexicans after your quinceañera you can have a boyfriend and uh, it's like a blessing yeah that uh, like going into adulthood yes yes practically because in mexico at 15 you can do a lot of stuff right yes but yeah. can you drink at 15 in mexico no. oh what's well, the age well they don't care over there Practically, okay. I was what um, seven years old when I bought, I was buying beer to my grandma, and Where she didn't grandma? drink. And I was seven years old, and they sold sold me some uh, beer. Seven years seven old. Seven years old. That's crazy. Yes. Maybe the times have changed now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's worse. Really? Wow. Well, you heard it here. Go to Mexico if you're not of age. Maybe not a seven-year-old. That's weird. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? No. No? Do you like a girl at school? You can tell me. I'm your aunt. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. But do you have a... <laughs> My mom's getting the ramo. Ooh, those are cute. Those Here. are cute. Ah, cutie! The party is not until 4 p.m. So we got... Some King. Burger King, because that's the only thing we can find in this little town. Little town. Mm. Mm. Chicken nuggies. Mm. Who's here? Mm -hmm. Whoa, these are the skinniest little chicken nuggets I've ever seen. I love barbecue sauce. You like barbecue sauce? Yep. I like ranch. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Yes.
night. Oh my gosh, I'm oily. Ahorita van a hacer el brindis. Un aplauso fuerte. The day after the quinceanera, me and my mom stayed over my brother's house because we were up all night. Me and my brother stayed up till like 4 a.m. and he was just blasting music outside in his backyard and I was like, do your neighbors not care? Like this is really loud. But <coughs> apparently he has really cool neighbors and we literally just stood out there drinking our beers, me and my bro, just listening to some deep music. <laughs> And it was actually a really great time. And I didn't go to sleep until like 4. And I just woke up not too long ago at like 10. But usually the day after a quinceanera or... Oh. Also, my cold sore today is looking a little worse. But luckily after today I can just hibernate in my room. Don't have to show my face anywhere. Oh, crap. Oh, I do have a few things to go to. Dang it. It's okay, it's not like super noticeable, this cold sore. <laughs> but as I was saying, the day after any big party, we usually have what is called a recalentado. That sounded so Italian. <laughs> I've been in Italy too long. Um, it's what we have a recalentado. So the day after a big party, everyone comes over to the host's house and they have either, if it's a Sunday, we have menudo, or we also have the leftovers of what was served at the party. But today, we're actually going to have menudo. And actually, what was really cool, and I think I recorded a little bit yesterday on my phone, but yesterday they had the party, the main party at the venue, and then at 12, we came over to my brother's house, and we had pozole, and that's when we... Um, ate pozole, drank beer, listened to some deep music, and then this morning we're gonna have menudo. And I think later today they're gonna make shrimp, so it's like a whole thing. It's like a whole weekend, this quinceanera. I think it's about time I leave this room because I'm the only one who's not out there right now, I think. And yesterday I, of course, was the last one to go to bed because that always happens. Like, even if others are still awake at the same time that I'm awake, once I get into the restroom, like, I will never go to bed with a full face of makeup on. Never. It doesn't matter if I'm, like, incredibly drunk. 
stumbling everywhere, I will always remove my makeup. Like, I never forget to remove my makeup. But because of it, because of my, like, night routine, I'm literally always the last one to go to bed. And so, of course, last one to go to bed. And this morning, I'm the last one to come out of the room. So, I'm gonna go out there, gonna have some menudo because I'm starving. And... I'm wondering if I should bring out that big old bottle of Prosecco that I brought with me. This is more of like a beer crowd, but maybe if I give them the option of like a mimosa with their menudo, you know? And I think I'm getting sick again, so menudo is gonna be supreme. Coffee duty. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, why are you worried about Christmas presents? What did you say? Got my coffee and an empanada. More people came. Mm. I'm on no sort of diet this weekend. I'm excited to eat tacos. Orchata. Do you like your orchata? Yeah. Mmm, that's good. Thumbs up. Hey, it's a new day. I didn't end the vlog at the party, but as you can see, it was quite an event. It was like a three-day quinceañera. In the U.S., it usually quinceañeras are only like the day, the whole day event, and then the next day. Many quinceañeras will have a recalentado, which is just heating up the food that was eaten at the party or making menudo because it usually falls on a Sunday and Sundays are for menudo. She looks beautiful. I just got a cold brew with half and half. Mm. It's so weird, like coffee is not even that good but I just, I can't stop drinking it. Like it's so good, but it's not good. Literally my life. Okay, anyways, I got my coffee and I'm ending this vlog.